Hello everyone, welcome back. I haven't gone anywhere. In fact, this is right after the last episode. However, for you, it might have been a couple days. I have no clue who, because I had no control over when these videos go up. Welcome to Goddess Forest. The one place that's apparently more dangerous than the human world. How do you feel, kid? You feel good? You feel happy? You feel glad that that rabbit didn't get killed by that monster? Me too. If we go up the waterfall, my friend will be waiting. Hurry up and let's go. If your friend tries to kill me, I have the means by which I can defend myself. Just a fair heads up, you know. I want to be very clear with my ability to defend and such. Aha! You've been stunned! Now I can well on you like uh, well on something wellable. Man, I need to work on that. <laughs> Still dead, though. Can't judge me if you're dead. <sighs> oh, boy. Hey, are you a dead person? No, you're just flowers. All right, that's that's better, actually. That's probably for the better. <laughs> Wouldn't want to see a dead person, none. You will die today. Ugh. No, get stunned again, please. You're almost dead. Ah, yeah! Can I upgrade my uh, my wooden axe with like a couple flowers or <laughs> additional sticks? You know, just a little more heft. All right, bye, rabbit. Didn't want to see you anyway. <laughs> so you scare away from me, but not away from the monsters? Yeah, that makes big sense, there, kiddo. All right, big boy, let's do it. I got a speed buff because I collected memories enough to the point that I remembered how to run. You're going down, son! Give up now, I have a speed buff! Am I punching the monster too? Because it looks like I might be. <clears throat> These guys go down easy. Like my much preferred good old coffee. <laughs> Not brought to you by my own homemade coffee. <laughs> Or it could be. It's my coffee. <laughs> I just can't sell it. <laughs> I can advertise it, but I can't sell it. <clears throat> Man, that guy's running quick. Wonder if he's gonna be special or something. Hey, why are you running? Why are you running, guy? Let's do it. I mean, let's go. That's any weird. Oh, you are different. You're a goblin. Goblin man. Go oh, goblin man isn't taking squat for change. Ah ha! Oh, he actually hurt me! SHIELD! Ah, uh, you have hurt me and for that you shall die in a painful, blunt death. Can I take your knife? Listen, girl, little child of mine, that stick isn't gonna be good for much longer. That guy threw some serious knifeage on it. I imagine it's gonna have a couple ticks here and there. And I don't like ticks on my wooden weaponry. Especially considering it's made out of wood. The odds of it breaking are pretty high right now. <clears throat> and I don't particularly like that. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but a bullet in your head will kill you right quick. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hey everyone, look. God is for us. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I am but a little girl who's wandering out in the forest and people apparently are fine with it because here I am all by myself. wonder what happened to grandma. Because, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I heard the what the kid said wrong, but... ah, Man, unless I go full three hits, it doesn't do squat. I need at least a small combo, otherwise these guys are just made out of steel. Oh. I wonder if I'm the monster, because those rabbits... See, the reason rabbits, or rather any animal, run away from a human is because they know. They know humans have a tendency of eating animals. That's why deer ran away, and why they didn't run away originally. They didn't know us. They didn't feel the need to fear us. This is very quiet. 
But now that they know who humans we are, they fear and run away the second they smell our nasty stench. Oh, you're back! I wasn't expecting one of you guys. <clears throat> oh, you didn't! Oh. Stop it! Aha! Opportunity has knocked on my door! I'll buy that for a dollar. You know, like, the, the people that sell stuff when they come to you. Anyway, you're gonna die- Ooh, my hell replenishes every hit. Sweet. I'm gonna- There's no way to tell. That's just pure luck. Oh, what the heck was that, man? Oh, that's right, I can dodge. Oh, you're gonna kill me! You babs! You big old babs, you. You almost murdered a little girl. You imagine how you would have felt? That's right. You would have had food for the next hour. <laughs> Too bad, you're dead. <laughs> These luscious meat chunks are going this way. <laughs> Oh man, that's not okay for me to say. <laughs> uh, seems like there's different enemies. Oh, uh, I found the Afro Fairy. I'm glad about that. Yeah, of course, it's another one of you guys. You guys are so tough. I don't like how tough you are. Aha! They've been stunned! Blunt Frost Trauma. Okay, maybe I shouldn't just well on my oh you're dead I don't know how to keep the combo from completing and then getting me killed later on I imagine there's a way to like stop the combo halfway through but I don't know about it hey guys what's up dog guys look I found a strange friend <clears throat> it is high the human man Girl, uh, child. <laughs> Can I move or am I stuck here? That's how she came all the way here. Isn't she amazing? She gave me this cookie. <laughs> I see. So that's what happened. I see. In my dream. Food. <laughs> I'm not food, alright? I don't want to fight you guys. I don't want to, especially that guy with a giant afro. I know he means business. The bigger the hair, the more threatening a person is. No, oh no, they're gonna gang up on me! Ah! It's an evil dance of death! Oh no! The, they've touched noses. Hmm. Then there's an important message the goddess wants to tell you. The goddess often appears in the same dream. Right! There must be something that the goddess needs to tell you. The traveler in the dream must have come all the way here because of the goddess's voice. Like a special revelation from God. The little girl asks the friend if they've ever met the goddess. Hmm. When was it? Other than appearing briefly when we were born in the red petal of the world tree, she never reveals herself. Even though she visits once every year. Okay. <clears throat> so she visits. But never reveals herself. I don't think that's visiting. I think that's just walking by. If we go with this kid, I won't be. Won't I be able to meet her this time? Oh, I'm excited. I look happier now. Hey, no, don't eat mine. As you can see, the bridge is broken, so we can't cross. If we can fix the bridge. We can't go. Can't do anything, even despite this revelation. I've been thinking about the bridge even before Evan even before Nana came. The intact part of the bridge is still strong, so we can bolster it using lumber. And tie them with a sturdy long tree trunk. Hold on. Tie them with a sturdy okay. No, I get you. Tie it to a sturdy long tree trunk. I thought you were gonna take a tree trunk and then just wrap it around the bridge. I'm like, wow, you fairy so strong. <laughs> We are light, so it shouldn't be a problem. I think Doring uh, should watch himself. If you keep eating, the goddess won't recognize you. 
Shall we begin then? Strong Doring can prepare a big tree to be laid on the bridge. And Nana can prepare small branches. And uh, you... Uh, Redhead! Find me a strong, long tree trunk that grows near me. Find a long tree trunk protruding out of the ground. We'll need six of them. Alright, let's begin. Oh! Okay, I guess you're just gonna keep dancing your dance of evil and I'll just go over here and try to f pick up a, an entire tree, I suppose. So we are just grabbing huge trees. These look capable. Do those not work? <clears throat> Let's go! You and me, man. No one between my cane and your face now. And most I think I can do two... Yeah, two combos before this guy attacks and then we have issues. Aha! Opportunity comes knocking at your face! Ah! It gives me time. Uh oh. Oh, you're dead. And got stunned. You fell into a coma and then died. That is sad. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> that is a little too grim for my tastes. Alright. Let's go down here then. I'm supposed to find a tree, but. I'm finding a bunch of trees and I can't seem to be able to do anything about it. Oh, the glorious number has been achieved! Fear me for I'm invincible. Never mind. My invincibility didn't last much, unfortunately. Who will I face this time? Aha! Sludge! My biggest enemy. You look like a Pokemon I know, but I can't remember the name. You guys know ow, what Pokemon I'm talking about, don't you? He looks almost exactly like that, but I can't remember his name. <clears throat> Not shocking, I've forgotten my own name before, so this is kind of an expected endeavor. Hello, fairy! How are you doing? I will speak to you at some point or another. Not here to get rid of me, are ya? Hide the body. So, what I'm saying is... <clears throat> interesting talk with a flower as tall as she is. Why? Well, good for you. I still haven't found any trees. Oh. Oh, I'm not supposed to find trees. I'm supposed to find sugarcane <laughs> looking things. That looks like corn. That looks like a corn stalk. Let me just grab this here. I still hate how quiet this place is. Why does this place exist? It's so quiet. Once upon a time, there was a little girl that grabbed a lot of wood. Anyway, Muto is on the ground. Nana is jumping up and down out of anger because Doring was kidnapped by the god. What? What? How? What should we do? The goblins in this forest kidnapped Doring because he looks scrumptious. They've been keeping tabs on Doring, waiting until he's alone. I forgot about that. She'll be setting a fire somewhere to prepare to eat Doring. Listen for the sound of <laughs> Let's listen for the sound of his screams of pain And then we shall follow the screams of pain and find us some food <clears throat> It's terrible There's only one place that I can imagine they'd set up a fire and that's probably all the way to the left here Or in that evil cave, but uh, I don't know about that one Couldn't possibly set up in the evil cave. Oh my gosh a bird flew away and it scared the cheese out of me. I, I was not expecting that. Huh. What do you know? They're not actually here. That's a surprise. I found him! <clears throat> Doring, are you cooked yet? Doring, with your afro and my very sharp stick, we will be invincible. Let's do it! That's not the way to cook a human, guys. You're gonna do a nice, even, you know, like... You Anyway. Darling, you idiot, what are you doing stuck in here? Really? You're you're blaming him? Nana! Help me, these guys are gonna eat me! Hold on, I'll set you free after I pound them. Can you pound them? You don't look very strong. Alright, never mind then. Apparently you're more formidable than I thought. 
No, no, he's got a coat. Yeah. It's the coat, you know, sets people apart. Let's do it. Your coat can't stand against my sharp stick. Plus 50 armor piercing damage. Oh! Aha! Ow! Maybe I should just... Ah! I tried! Oh! I'm dead! I have failed! Am I dead? Is it over? Is the game done? No, well, apparently I get a second chance at life. No, I'm dead. I'm a ghost! And just like that, I, I went from being a ghost to a full human girl again. This guy's blue sweater is quite formidable. I gotta remember to press a left shift. Ah! Aha! Got your number now. You can only attack once, which is a pain. No! Ah! I did it that time. Aha! You're stunned. You're dead. It's over. My stick will harm you. You're dead. Oh my gosh. Who knew sweaters were the way to go? Man, that defense, dude. Oh, bro, son. That's some serious defense you got there. You're going to be fasting from now on. Got it? This is the kid who saved your life, so say thank you. Oh, thank you for saving me. I'll be forever grateful. Uh, uh, hey, you got another cookie? Uh, she's happy that they're together again. That afro, though. By the way, these punks, you got beaten up, and they got a spear. All right, well. Man, they got stamina. And they're dancing again. Can I join in? Or are you the only ones allowed to dance? Dorian, who almost got eaten by the goblins, was fortunate to be able to return safely to his friends without serious injury. The forest fairies thanked the little girl who saved Dorian, then returned to the broken bridge. Good! I don't have to walk 10 miles again! Guys, there's a lot of back and forward in this game. Fair warning if you do get this. That guy looks like he's doing... Oh, okay. Looks like you were doing push-ups there, pal. Whew. Finally, it's done. Fortunately, the part that didn't burn was still strong, so it won't be a big problem to cross. I was worried that we might not be able to find Dorian because of them, but no, I'm glad we got, all, got it all done before dark. Hurry up and let's go meet our goddess. Alright, I guess everyone's just snugly... Inside of my pocket now, eating my cookies. Or what crumbs I had left. Bunch of jerk fairies eating my cookies. Sleeping in my pockets. I need to end this episode, it's getting a little long. Longer than I would like. But oh well. It's just the way it meant to be. You're yeah, going down, Goblin! I took down one of your brethren who wore the sweater of blue. You really think you got a chance against me? Ugh. See, told ya, you're done. It's over. Uh oh. Ugh. The guard key is so finicky. I wish I could interrupt the attack just to guard, you know. But you can't. Once you're in a combo, you're locked. You become combo locked. Which is not something that I well. This is where we ended everyone in the misty woods of death and peril. I wonder if that's how <laughs> I would love it if that's how the uh, the mythical forest of fairies was named, just with terrible names like the swamp of evil or the the cave of gnawing bones. <laughs> Should be like the best place ever, but instead it's just got terrible names. Not even because of the monsters, just the way the fairies name things. Link to this game down in the description below. Shout out to the Bean of John and Matsuvo. Link to their channels down in the description below as well. 
Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And until next time. See you guys in the next episode.